Hello everybody and welcome back to Higher Learning Test Prep's online video tutorial series. Today we're going to look at number 53 from an ACT, a recent ACT. This information above was given with a set of three questions, 53 being the third of those three. So let's read that information. The value of a used car can be modeled by the formula given here where V sub zero is the car's purchase price in dollars, R is the car's constant annual rate of decrease in value, expressed as a decimal, and V is the car's dollar value at the end of T years. All right, a lot of information there. Let's see how it's used. 53 says a used car has a constant annual rate of decrease in value of 0 0.075. Uh, according to the model, which of the following expressions gives the number of years after purchase for the car to reach a value that is 50% of its purchase price? All right. Well, first, let's talk about what we're solving for. We have V, the final value, equals the original value, multiplied times the quantity 1 minus this R, which I'll write in because we know our R is our annual rate of decrease, 0 0.075, times, or uh, raised to T number of years. Okay, and we want the value to be 50%, so I'm actually going to write in here, 0 0.50 times V, and I'll make this V the V naught as well. So our final value is 50% of the original value, which should be equal to this expression when T is the appropriate number of years. Okay, so now we have what the equation we're looking for. Now we're asked to solve for this T value, which is interesting. This is an exponent and not easy to solve in the normal way of doing algebra. If we look down at these answer choices, we'll see these logarithms down here, and that should tip us off as to what's going on. When we solve for exponents, we can use this log rule. Let's talk about that rule. It's a log rule for exponents that says, essentially, if you have 5 to the x and that equals 12, since there's no real simple way of solving this, what we can say is take the log of 5 to the x, take the log of 12, so we've done the same to both sides, now this x can come out front here, x log 5 equals log 12. And then of course we can just divide by log 5 on both sides and just say that therefore x equals log 12 over log 5. Okay, so this rule right here looks very much like what's going on log over log in these two situations. So I'm going to check these out. We're solving for t. So what we're going to do is, first of all, let's just get this piece by itself, the piece with the exponent. Let's get rid of this v naught here, or v sub 0, depending on which language you like. v sub 0 sounds pretty fancy to me. It sounds like uh, Mortal Kombat or something. Maybe you're not as much of a nerd as I am. Anyways, let's finish this question. So divide both sides by v sub 0, or v naught, to get this piece, 1 minus 0 0.075 quantity raised to t by itself, so we can do this log rule. All right, so when we divide this, of course, we have the same thing on the top and bottom. We can cancel those out. So what we're left with is 0.5 equals our stuff in here raised to the t. And that stuff, of course, is 1 minus 0 0.075. Now we can perform our rule. Log of 0.5 equals log, oops, almost started doing my parentheses there. I'll make that a little log instead of a parentheses bar. Log of 1 minus 0 0.075. And this is raised to the t, but we said we can bring that t down, so let's just do that. And put the t over here, t times that. Now, of course, if we're solving for t, we're going to divide by this log. I won't write the whole thing in, but you'll get it this stuff, log 1 minus 0 0.75. And here we go. Now these two things cancel, and we have what we finally wanted, log 0.5 over. Oops, let's uh, get that all in there. Let's finish the parentheses. There we go. Log 0.5 over log quantity 1 minus 0 0.075. Sorry about some little sloppy notation stuff there, but hopefully you can see it. The key was this logarithm rule. Um, what we're essentially saying is that it, you could take this exponent and move it down once you've performed the logarithmic function to both sides. 
Okay, so if you have any other questions about ACT questions, feel free to hit us up. Um, we'll note that the only thing that was tricky about this question was knowing this log formula, but ultimately it came down to using the answer choices. Notice that we use the answer choices to help us. So that's a big key in the ACT. Hit us up with any more questions. We'd love to help you out. HigherLearningTestPrep.com, Facebook, Twitter, email, the works. Hope your studying goes well and hope we can be of some assistance to you. Take care.